as we're on the sky for a very important mission. Today is the annual National Bird Count. In our area, hundreds flock to the Georgian Bay area to give wings to the century-long tradition. And Casey Colby joins us now to show us what he found. Well, the volunteers I caught up with today were responsible for a 24 square kilometer area. All of them doing this, looking for birds. You hear the one, I'm seeing At least three. two. There's one, two over there, three. Uh, a little bit south of here, we saw a horned green this morning, so we got really excited about that, as birds sometimes do. Dorothy Harper's eyes are on the skies. This is her tenth year participating in the Christmas bird count, and essential for monitoring which birds are plentiful and which ones are in decline. This year's mild weather has been great for the birds and those counting them. It's been a good count because there's a lot of open water. Susan Hurst loves tracking birds and records every one. We're up to about 24 species. Um, within that, I'd say the chickadees are, are leading <laughs> in terms of numbers. You spent all that time looking at one. Rob is hoping to see one particular chickadee, a boreal chickadee to be precise. It's rare to see one at this time of year, but he says if anyone can find one, he can. Because his last name is MacGyver. I can draw on my uh, six seasons of television uh, experience where I uh, had a lot of adventures and I find it very helpful, yes. He's kidding, of course, but I took the search for the rare chickadee quite seriously, probably too seriously. I did the wrong bird call, but found out calling the birds is something that can work at the right time. Whippoorwill! Whippoorwill! <laughs> we do, but not, not during this time of year. Bird counters spend a great deal of time waiting to see a bird. And after much time, I spotted two birds on the beach. That's a ring-billed gull. Uh, there's a young, there's a young black, great blackback gull near it. Are they rare? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is rare is the mild weather that we've been enjoying, and boy, it is nice, isn't it? Not too bad out here. Let's have a look right now. Across our region, Vaughn, Markham, Orangeville, as far as temperatures go, relatively mild. We're looking at four degrees, a few clouds in the sky. You see the anemometer over my shoulder slowly turning as we go head across the region. Aurora, Barry, and Aurelia looking at fours and three degrees, and pretty much the same situation when you head on over to Collingwood, Wasaga Beach, and Muskoka, threes and two degrees, but coming up in main forecast, I'll tell you just what record warmth will reach tomorrow. That's coming up in just a few minutes' time. For now, let's go back to the news center. We need to get Casey a new hat for Christmas. You think so? Mm -hmm. just, right. just a thought. Uh, I thought he got rid of that last weekend, but I guess not. In sports tonight, the world's best golfer hosting a tournament this weekend, Chris. That's right, yeah. Tiger was looking to pad his pockets a little more with one.